Hi everyone, today I decided to pay a visit to Red Sea Mall which I think is becoming a hub for superhero related activities. So I started out with my visit here in the cinema and uh, I'm quite happy to see like uh, Marvel superheroes making an appearance and uh, yeah uh, also there's Iron Man so lots of neat statues they are being displayed here So I have been informed that Aquaman statue has been removed and uh, well anyways at least I got to see Captain America and Iron Man statues being a geek that's what interests me the most more than the cinema itself sorry guys but I've been there so I'm not too keen on these things thanks all right guys I just found a very interesting shop it's called the art shop it's at the basement of Red Sea Mall and what they do is they basically take your picture and just put it on your favorite superhero pose so here's a guy uh, who's uh, who got his dream come true with Captain America then we have another one of their uh, customer who is uh, being embossed on a Superman costume Hulk and Batman quite an interesting shop that I've just found so Mohammed uh, you're sorry were you're good Majid. Majid okay Majid no. is here with me uh, he manages this shop uh, Majid can you just tell uh, a bit about your shop how do you guys uh, make people's dream come we're true? drawing the character okay you give me your uh, picture uh, we're drawing we have uh, we need seven days to finish the drawing and uh, the next day we print it in the like this, okay? Right. You choose your character. Okay. Any hero you want, anything you want, we do it. And uh, we ha can... So this is their detail here. Their contact number, their Instagram profile, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever you need. It's all there. Uh, quite a good, interesting setup these guys have. Thank you, thank you. Majid, thank you very much for thank taking you. us through. For you, and thank you. just for the, uh, our customers, uh, what would you like to say? Like, how much does it cost and all? Uh, the cuts, uh, the cost, uh, like this, two hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we different about the size. Ah, it depends on the size. Yes. Basically. So minimum is like two hundred. Two hundred to five hundred. Two hundred to five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. So another venue here, Virgin Mega Stores. Their branch in Red Sea Mall has stuff. For superhero related activities but unfortunately I wasn't allowed to film from the inside so I'm just making it from the outside so I just went inside uh, Virgin just to check out if there is something new or something exciting surprisingly their collection with respect to superhero collectibles is a bit slimmer than before uh, didn't find a lot of st statues in fact there were hardly any and then you have uh, uh, the trade paperbacks, the graphic novels and all. Some classic uh, uh, collections are available in both in DC and Marvel. Like for example, Nightfall, Batman's Nightfall 25th Anniversary Edition. And then uh, uh, Captain America's Epic Collection. Uh, some new titles, some new graphic novels based on new storylines are there as well. But uh, the, the amount of space these guys have uh, and they are known for pop culture and all. Compared to previous years, their collection has slimmed down a lot. Okay, this is another hobby store. Uh, it's called Abdul Mafi, Mafi Yaban and whatever is good from Japan. And as you can see, the first thing that we find here is a life-size grandizer uh, statue. And this shop is basically for those who are into manga stuff. So it's like a mini museum that has uh, statues. 
from different manga characters. Of course, I grew up in the 80s, so my interest happens to be Grandizer. You can see Duke Fleet, multiple sizes of Grandizer, and then this beauty. Duke Fleet's ship. Some other related merchandise. And that's not just it because they have some more Grandizer related stuff die cast material, statues, you name it. And then there are stuff from other famous manga characters I'm not that much aware of. They also have. Funko Pop dolls. The right I see is Dragon Ball Z, Goku, is a thing of beauty. You have the complete Grand Dyser family, the Rogues Gallery, Duffy. Brings back a lot of good memories. And then we have this. I don't know how many of you know this character at the back. The white one. That's Jomaro. The cartoon's name was Sanshiro. And then we have this guy, Jungar. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. But this one, oh my god. You know, this was the Japanese uh, version of Iron Man because the name that we were told about this character in Arabic was Ar-Rajal Al-Hadidi. Uh, Kamal and Lamis. It's like the 80s all over again. Man. Good times. Simpler times. We only had two TV channels. In fact, in the early 80s, there was only one TV channel, which was Saudi Channel 1. And we saw the, the all of these cartoons we watched on Saudi Channel One. They were dubbed in Arabic. Look at that! Beautiful, a life-size Duke Fleet helmet. Wow! And this was the manga version of Sindbad. We used to call it Sindibad. There are some other. Manga characters. I don't know why they have Lord of War statue. Anyhow, a lot of characters. Oh, this was Lady Lady cartoon. Where it says in Arabic, lady, lady. This one's my favorite. There's a Jumaru t shirt. Hentai. Anime fans, you're in for the treat at this show. So, to find this place, this is located in the basement of Red Sea Mall. Uh, as you can see, Intenso. So, if you just walk away from Intenso and come all the way, just walk straight up. You can't miss this place. Really feeling nostalgic. So after walking miles and miles in search of uh, shops that are selling pop culture, super, especially superhero related stuff, uh, I only came across three outlets in Red Sea Mall, uh, one of which was an art shop, the other one is a... Uh, is a a store dedicated to manga 
Japanese uh, collections such as Grindizer, Jumaro and all and then we have Virgin Mega Stores so their branch in Red Sea Mall uh, unfortunately I couldn't make video from the inside but this is what we have right now in Jeddah despite Comic Con happening two years in a row and there's a Marvel experience event happening just nearby on the other side at Jeddah water waterfront so personally I feel a bit disappointed uh, especially looking at the fact that when I visited Red, uh, Virgin uh, their collection uh, compared to 2017 was quite quite slim and uh, when in fact it should be it should have been more and uh, but at least it's good to see it's good to find uh, some something happening on a creative level whereby you can just get your picture animated on top of a superhero's uh, body and then for those who are uh, into anime or anime I don't know what's the right way to pronounce it but at least they have a good store here so that's a wrap see you until the next vlog post don't forget to subscribe bye